In this problem, we have to evaluate this indefinite integral. So we have powers of secant and tangent. So whenever you have powers of secant and tangent, there's a general rule that you can follow. If you have an even power of secant, you save a secant squared. And if you have an odd power of tangent, you save a secant tangent. So even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. And that will guide you through most of the problems. So here, the power of secant is not even, so that doesn't work. But the power of tangent is odd. It's to the first power. So we want to save a secant tangent. So what do I mean by that exactly? Well, that means basically we have to factor out a secant from the secant to the seventh. So it'll be secant to the sixth of 5x. And then we'll pull out a secant. So it'll be secant 5x tangent 5x dx. So we've basically factored out a secant from the secant to the sixth. And you can check. When you multiply secant times secant to the sixth, you get secant to the seventh. So you've saved a secant tangent. So because we've saved a secant tangent, that means u is going to be equal to secant. Notice the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So it's all part of the same idea. It's rigged. So we saved a secant tangent, so u is secant. Let's go ahead and find the derivative of u, which is secant tangent. So secant 5x tangent 5x times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is 5x, so its derivative is 5, and then we have a dx. That's the chain rule. So we have an extra 5 here that we don't have in our integral, so we'll divide everything by it. So that goes away. So you have 1 fifth du equals secant 5x tangent 5x dx. So all of this is going to get replaced with 1 fifth du. So this will be 1 fifth secant 5x, that's u, so u to the sixth du. Okay, now we're in a good position. Now we can use the power rule. So this is 1 fifth. And then you add 1, so you get 7. And then you divide by 7. Then we have our C. And we're pretty much done. 5 times 7 is 35. Replace U with what it was. So U was secant. So this is secant to the 7th power of 5x. And we have our constant of integration, capital C. So nice problem. It worked out uh, really nice. And again, if you just follow that strategy where if you have an even secant, you save a secant squared. Odd tangent, you save a secant tangent. You can actually do this problem pretty quickly because you'll notice, again, it's to the first power. It's odd. So that means you pull out a secant and you save a secant tangent. And so whenever you save a secant tangent, you let u be secant. And then everything works out really, really nicely. I hope this video has been helpful.